Schedules of reinforcement refers to the frequency and manner in which a desired response is reinforced. Now we've got continuous reinforcement and we've got partial reinforcement. Continuous reinforcement refers to the reinforcement of every correct or desirable response. And according to Skinner, based on his experiments with rats and pigeons, continuous reinforcement is essential during the acquisition phase so that the learner makes the link between the operant response, their behaviour, that is, and the consequence, the reinforcer. So continuous reinforcement leads to the most rapid acquisition. Once the learner has made the association between their behaviour and the consequence, the operant response and the consequence, that is, then you can go to a partial schedule of reinforcement, and there's four types. So when we talk about partial reinforcement, we're reinforcing some, not all, desirable responses. So for the four partial schedules of reinforcement, you need to be able to tick four boxes. Firstly, you need to be able to define it. Secondly, you need to be able to identify it from a scenario given. Thirdly, you need to be able to describe the rate of response, whether it's rapid or slow. And fourthly, you need to be able to describe the nature of the response in terms of whether it is erratic or stable. Fixed ratio can be defined as providing reinforcement after a set, fixed, unvarying number of desirable responses. E.g. getting paid to deliver junk mail, where you're not actually getting paid for every single item you deliver, but rather on a ratio. So you might get a box of a thousand brochures, you might get 50 bucks for delivering the whole box. A fixed ratio. A fixed ratio schedule provides the fastest response rate of the four partial schedules. It also produces an erratic response rate. Now, the reason why it produces a fast response rate is because once the learner works out that, let's say, they've got to press the lever in the case of a rat 10 times to be reinforced with food, it's just going to go bang, 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 bang as quick as it can until it gets that reinforcer. But it's an erratic response rate because once, let's say, we've got to that 10th lever press and the food reinforcer has been delivered, motivation dips. Therefore, the response rate dips until we get, again, close to that 10th hit on the lever and the reinforcer is delivered. So I coach a young boys basketball team, grade threes, and at the end of each session, I say, right, guys, let's see you nail 10 foul shots. If I offered them a reward for every 10th one they hit, their motivation would be really high once they got to 8 in, 9 in, et cetera. And then when they got that 10th one, then their motivation and their response rate is going to dip. A variable ratio schedule of reinforcement provides a reinforcer after a regular or variable number of correct responses. So because of the unpredictability of the delivery of the reinforcer, it produces a steady response rate. E.g. when you're gambling. Let's say experience tells you that when you're playing a certain machine, it pays out on average once every 10 goes. And let's say You've had 30 goes in a row and you've had no action, no win. What's your mindset? Well, your mindset is next one for sure, next one for sure. So your motivation, your response rate is high. It's steady because you never know when the reinforcer is coming. Now, let's say you've got a dud machine that no longer pays out. How do you know that? You might have had 50 goes in a row and again, it's not paying out. So it's actually more resistant to extinction than fixed ratio because if you knew for a fact that it was going to pay out every 10th go and you got to the 10th go and no payout, you'd know that you had a dud machine well, with a variable ratio schedule. Your mindset is, it's going to pay out soon. I'm going to hit the jackpot any minute. If you've got a job and you're being paid per hour or per month like I am, 
Then you're being reinforced on a fixed interval schedule, which delivers the reinforcer after a set period of time after the desirable response has been made. And just like fixed ratio, it produces an erratic response rate. For instance, let's say a teacher offers some incentive for a class that can remain on task for a full hour. Your motivation is going to be really high if we've managed to be on task for, let's say, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, and we're approaching that hour. The motivation, the response rate is up. Then we get to the hour and we've got to start again. So just after that hour has been completed and motivation dips, the reward seems a lot further off in the horizon. So again, our response rate diminishes. Variable interval provides a reinforcer after an irregular period of time in which the correct response has been made. It produces the lowest response rate, but due to the unpredictability of the timing of the delivery of the reinforcer, it's a steady response rate. And your classic example is fishing. Let's say you have your favourite fishing spot and you average catching two fish an hour. You might have a good stretch where you might catch five fish in 15 minutes and then you could have an eight hour day where you get nothing. But because of the unpredictability of the timing of the reinforcer in terms of actually catching the fish, your motivation is steady. Your response rate in terms of you casting out, putting your bait on, etc., is steady. It's more resistant to extinction than fixed interval because let's say we're in a pocket of Port Phillip Bay and there's no fish in that area, how do we know? We might think we've just been unlucky, we've spent eight hours in the same spot trying to catch a fish and they're probably all circling around and eventually we'll get one. So in summary, the two variable schedules provide a steady response rate because of the unpredictability of the timing of the reinforcer. The two fixed schedules provide an erratic response rate because the timing of the reinforcer is predictable in that case. Fixed ratio provides the fastest response rate and variable interval provides the slowest response rate. Variable schedules are more resistant to extinction, i.e. they're harder to extinguish because again the unpredictability, so thus the two fixed schedules are easier to extinguish.